Hello friends, welcome to the online excel tip YouTube channel. I am Anil Dhawan and in this 5 minutes video, I am going to talk about 25 quick time saving excel keyboard shortcuts. The day since I started working on excel, I always wanted to be the speedy guy who wanted to play his hands on keyboard like anything. And I always used to play with the random keys to see what magic different combinations of keys could do. And today, I brought a list of important keyboard shortcuts for you which I am going to perform on the sample database I have taken here in this spreadsheet. So we will start with the shift arrow key keyboard shortcut which extends the selection by one cell in the given direction. So I click on C1 and select the cells till N1 by pressing shift plus right arrow key. After that I press ctrl 1 keyboard shortcut to open format cells dialog box and now I go to custom and type the required date formatting in type as MMM apostrophe YY and then click on OK. The next keyboard shortcut is ALT plus equal to which is used to auto sum the rows or columns of numbers. So we simply select an empty cell next to the numbers in cell O2 and press ALT equal to to get the sum of sales. And now we go to N3 and press Ctrl down arrow shortcut key to move to the bottom edge of the column N and then move one cell to the right with right arrow key and after that press Ctrl shift up arrow shortcut to extend the selection of cells to the next non empty cell upwards. And now we press Ctrl D keyboard shortcut to fill down the formula entered in cell O2. Once done, we go to cell C31 which is an empty cell and once again we press ALT equal to to get the sum of this column. And then we select cells till P31 with the help of shift arrow key and then to fill on the right side we use Ctrl R keyboard shortcut. Now if you like to move to the beginning or first cell of the worksheet press Ctrl home keyboard shortcut and Ctrl and keyboard shortcut to jump onto the last cell which is the intersection of the last row and last column that contains data in a worksheet. After that we apply default currency format with two decimal places to the number by pressing Ctrl shift 4 keyboard shortcut and in case if you wish to hide few rows you can use Ctrl 9 shortcut and for columns you can use Ctrl 0 shortcut. The next keyboard shortcut is Ctrl A or Ctrl Asterisk which is used to select the current region. After that we select only visible cells which we can do it using ALT semicolon and after selecting only visible cells we copy these cells with Ctrl C keyboard shortcut and then move to the next worksheet with the help of Ctrl page down and paste the copied cell here in this spreadsheet using Ctrl V keyboard. Now to move to the previous worksheet in the workbook use Ctrl page up shortcut and now we are back in the main worksheet and this time we will put filter using keyboard shortcut Ctrl Shift L. Once the filter is on you can open the selected drop down list using ALT down arrow shortcut and then can access the items very quickly. Now if you wish to remove or apply the general formatting on the formatted numbers you can simply press Ctrl Shift tilde after selecting the required ring. Now we go to column B and select the entire column using keyboard shortcut control space and then delete it by pressing control minus key combination. And to select the entire row we can use shift plus space shortcut and if need to add rows use control shift plus. Control shift plus will also help you to add columns to the left or rows to the above. And last but not the least to insert comments in the active cell use shift plus F2 keyboard shortcut and there we can add as many as comments in any cell by going there and by pressing shift plus F2 keyboard shortcut. In case if you want to add it any comment you can simply go to that cell and press shift F2 again which is also used to add it comment in any cell. There is one bonus keyboard shortcut waiting for you which is control shift F1. This is really awesome keyboard shortcut I found for you which is really helpful when you want to show more data in a single screen than usual rows. Isn't it interesting? So let's start using these keyboard shortcuts to boost up your work and efforts as it will save tons of your time. You can also let me know the shortcuts that you use every day by commenting in the comment section. Do not forget to click on subscribe and like button. That's all I have in this video for you. I hope you liked and enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.